Welcome to the channel Chinos Comics and More. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let's get to it. We got the fam today. Say hi, kids. Hi. Josh, you like comics? Went again. We're gonna go try to find some books before it pulls out of 2018. And if we find something, we'll be definitely updating here tonight on the channel with the top six of 2018 purchases. To the channel chino comics and more today i got my brother manny he's gonna be helping me out today also i want to send a few shout outs um brian b uh he watched my, my last video he commented on it uh brian b was part of the hero initiative i got some actually cool books from him so thank you brian b also want to send a shout out to a few new subscribers uh greeks drinks and comics i guess he likes to drink and he likes comics um also jeffrey call me con um thank you bud my dog is cute kalel um obviously um he saw he saw the pink knife also man he liked the pink yeah knife. yeah yeah so you guys pay attention to details so obviously uh thank you for that kalel will be making more uh, guest appearances here and there uh also eddie the comic guy um yeah the bubble wrap man yeah it, it's it's something else. Also, new subscriber Pop Dot Comics, and also a few guys. Erod, H M E three Comics. Can't forget about the Great Legend Show, man. I know that guy's been pretty active on your, on your uh, comment section. And also Reggie Simmons. You guys know Reggie, man. He has a channel too, so you guys uh, hit him up. The guy he has a good insight on on comics, and uh, I've been. Uh, Talking a lot to, to him on, on some other things. and But basically, just to start off, guys, we're going to talk a little bit about... Um, we had a haul this morning. We actually went out uh, as a family. Manny collects as well. Mm -hmm. His children went with us and my other nephew. We're going to start off first with... Uh, this is another comic book from the Hero Initiative. This is... And I'll let Manny just kind of go over the comics. Because that way I don't, I don't mess up like last time. I kept saying... Amazing uh, Spider-Man 14 on Mysterio, but that's Green Goblin. And I had yeah. Manny telling me, hey, man. It's 13, 13. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is uh, Daredevil 168. Uh, it's Electra's first appearance. It's, uh, as you can see, it's a CGC. It's uh, actual, it's a golden, I guess you can say golden yellow banner. So that means it's a signature series. Um, and I know this is something you picked up from the Hero Initiative uh, auction, which, which was, from what I can see, I mean, those are pretty pretty good items in it, man. I mean, this is a pretty pretty good book, and it's signed, so you can't get any better than that. Of course, you know, the grade's a 5.0. Um, you know, you would want a, a higher grade, but again, all this was for a good cause. So at the end of the day, the money that, that, that was purchased, that was used to purchase this book, went for a good cause. So at a 5.0, can't beat it, man. That's great. So we're also going to do, uh, we're going to show you guys, um, we picked up two books today from the hall. Um, two books. This is to kind of close out 2018, and we just we just had that itch, that itch to just go out there and try to catch something, and I think we landed some good stuff. Yeah, this is this is actually DC Presents number 26. Um, it's a pretty pretty high grade, 9.2 CGC. You're looking at uh, Cyborg, Star Starfires, and uh, Raven's first appearance. Um, you know, we I, I mean we wanted to finish off the year with at least something, you know, to I guess have have a I guess going 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 out purchase. So this is one of the books. Um, as you can see, again, CGC 9.2. And the next book is actually it's it's a book that's always kind of hot. Uh, it stays hot when it cools down. It's still pretty hot, honestly. It's also CGC 9.2, and it's Batman Avengers number 12. Uh, again, that's Hardy Quinn's first appearance. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this book. I mean, this book is is pretty it's pretty famous. Yeah, and this is a book that you want to pick up because obviously right now they're going into the direction DC is, uh, speculation. They're trying to just go all 
in an all woman kind of direction. So obviously with, you know, Ben Affleck kind of not making a, a return or, or the rumors are that he's, he's going to be done after this next one. This last movie, yeah. You know, she will be the one to kind of take up the mantle. My understanding is, is that she has a, a single a, a movie coming out with just her as, as a primary uh, actress or actor. Um, and then I also heard that there's a TV show, a cartoon a animation coming out with Harley Quinn. So again, this book is, it's always been hot. It's going to stay hot. And when things like this pop up, such as movies or, or, or animations, it's going to spike. So again, 9.2, that's a pretty, pretty good grade. So I think that those were the, the last two books that, that I picked up this year. Uh, I guess everyone's kind of doing the top six of, of 2018. Uh, going to 2019, I have a good list of, of books that I want to pick up. I think Manny here has a good list as well. Um, we're not going to go over the list because we're, su we're still going to compose it. And I'm thinking we're going to probably end up doing um, kind of like a, a big, big grail. I guess like key grails, I guess more like the bigger books. We'll do a list of that. And of course, you know, we got to show love to the minor keys. So we'll be also doing, I guess, two separate lists, smaller keys, and then the big books that we're going to try to go for. Um, I guess we can start with the the top six yeah, books yeah. you picked up this year, man. So basically the top six, we'll start off with the first one. Um, Again, I think you guys have seen this book already. This is Fantastic Four number 48. It's a Silver Surfer and Galactus first appearance. Um, hot book. It's always been a pretty... So it's always been a pretty pretty attractive book to 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 buy into. Um, I think this year it kind of spiked up. Um, if I had to put a grade on it, I would say it's no less than a 4.0. We might end up getting a 5.0 on this one, which would be great. I mean, uh, but again, right now it's just the students be pressing clean. Uh, but again, if this is a book that you can find in your in your store and if you find it for a good price, pick it up. I mean, it's gonna keep getting hot. That's number six. From there. We jumped actually to Detective Comics number 359. This is a CGC 5.5. Um, if you're not familiar with this book, this is Batgirl's first appearance. It's her um, her origin story, I believe. Um, this book, it's it's been hot also. I, I think if I'm assuming the Batman is out the picture, if you want to go a different route, Batgirl's is probably the, be the the next best route. Again, what I've been seeing the trend is. A lot of the females, um, they're going more to like the, a, a, a female-driven superhero, I guess, world, which is great because, I mean, they need the spotlight too. So, again, this is a hot book. I know you've been having, having your eye on this one for a while, so I know it's a pretty good pickup for you this year. Yeah, we, and we just walked in. It was funny because we on the way up there, we were talking about it. We were, we were I actually saw it on a website, and I was telling Manny, I'm like, man, this is a book to pick up next year. We kind of missed it this year on, on our list. So it was just it was just fate. We went there and we got there and the book was on the wall. This is another hot book. This is Giant Size X-Men number one at a 6.5. Uh, it's a CBCS uh, uh, slab book. 6.5 is a pretty respectable grade. I think this book, it's, it's been, honestly, man, it's like they're pouring gasoline on it because it's been catching on fire like crazy. Every time I kept my eye on this book, I think it's gonna sell for a certain price and it goes for an even higher price. Um, I think the trend on this one is, is, is way up. And the funny thing about this book is we, we send out a whole bunch of books. Manny has a collection and we try to double up on books. So if I buy a book, uh, he, he buys another one. So that's, yeah, that's kind of how we work it out. And then we try to get doubles of that. Just, you know, he has children and, and, and obviously for, for my children in the future. But that book, well, we purchased it. He purchased his own and we actually... Just got those, uh, I think, what, two months ago from CBCS? Yeah, I want to say that giant size-wise, I think you have maybe two copies, and I'm I'm, I'm eventually going to have two. I purchased another one. So, again, I mean, if you can hoard this book, hoard it. Um, I think in the long run, it's, it's going to keep going up. Um, it's, you can always use it for, for trade bait, uh, per se. I mean, if, if, if someone has a book that you're interested in and you have multiples, I mean, look at it from that perspective, I can give you this book for your book, maybe come out of pocket some cash, maybe he comes out of pocket. You never know, but again, it's just an idea we're throwing out. Now the next book, I think you guys have seen this one too. If you haven't, if you follow him on his Instagram, you will see a lot of these books. This is a really nice book. I love the red banner that it has on top. This is also CBCS. It's a Daredevil, number one, at a 3.0. 
This book, believe it or not, it's really, really affordable to a certain degree. Now, for some reason, he doesn't have, I guess, a heat that some of the other characters do. But if you can buy this book, I recommend get it. Especially now that the show, they, they say the show's canceled. Um, I think, honestly, it's going to probably trend down a little bit. That's when you need to buy in. Because, again, like anything, once once Disney gets a hold of it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go back up. So, again, this is a signature series, The Red Banner, Daredevil. I don't think you can ask for anything else. No. And you guys know my story behind this one. So, I mean, Daredevil, if you're looking to get into, and, and I mean, this is considered a grill too, guys. I mean, this was supposed to come out before all the other books. So, um, before Fantastic Four, I think, or, and, and um, what was it, Amazing Sp Spider-Man? I, I yeah. think there, there was a, a mix-up, but, you know, um, that book was supposed to come out first. And those other books came before it, but this is another one that you want to pick up just because right now it's affordable and it's a grill. It's a number yeah. one. It's a number one. I mean, you can't beat that. Now, this book, everyone knows, everybody knows this book. Um, it's probably the hottest book this year, I want to say. I know I've seen it. I think it's been hot for a few years. Yeah, but I think this year, for some reason, it's just with the whole rumor of, you know, Marvel getting a hold of the Fox entities, this book really skyrocketed. I mean, I might as well show it to you guys. It's 7.5 Hulk 181. Again, this is Wolverine's first appearance. Um, what else can we say about this book? It's iconic. The cover is known. I mean, I can go up to anybody in the street and ask them, who, who is this guy? And they're going to know who Wolverine is. So this is a really nice grade at 7.5 uh, CGC. Again, this is this is on, on his top six. And I don't blame him. I mean, this, that thing is it's pretty nice. It's beautiful. And anything with these characters, me and Manny, we always have conversations about, you know, certain characters that, that you can just walk up to anybody on the street and say, hey, who is this character? Hulk, I mean, worldwide, they know who Hulk is. Obviously, Hulk is this guy back here, he's he's number one. You take you can take that to anybody out there on the street or, or around the world, they know who Spider-Man is. So it just kind of makes sense. Those characters are so popular so those are the, the books and, and, and the characters you want to be collecting because, yeah. again, everyone knows them. So you can't go bad investing your money in those characters. No. And his number one book, again, this is a very nice book. It's, um, it's also a book that got real hot this year, along with Fantastic Four number one, which he does not currently have. Not um, I'm working to get Fantastic Four number one, but... This book, no introduction needed. Again, this is X-Men number one, a 2.5 CBCS. This one here is actually signed also by the great Stanley. I know his birthday just passed recently. So, you know, if anything, you know, I mean, thanks for all of this. I mean, because of him, we have these books. And I know my future, my future plan is to leave a lot of this knowledge and, and, and this collecting habit to my kids. And that's why we took them today. Just kind of show them you know, the process of going to the comic book store, um, seeing books, they're into it. And I know I, I know I started building their collection of it. I know he'll, sometimes I know he, he'll actually go and he'll buy double ups of, of certain books or he'll buy like the reprints. And, you know, we want to start them off with certain books. That's a good way to start off with a reprint just to kind of build that habit because they're the next generation. And we want them to keep this dream alive of collecting. And again, this is a 2.5 of X-Men number one signed by Stan Lee. Um, I know this is probably one of your favorite books. Actually, yeah, this this was the one that I was chasing for a few years now. Uh, I, I wanted to buy it before, obviously, um, uh, this happened to Stan Lee. So I was very fortunate that I was still able to buy this a little bit after he passed away. Because I think the first week or two weeks right afterwards, these books were outrageously just, just up there. Anything that had his signature was going for... Yeah. Ridiculous pricing, but and people were actually you know hijacking the prices. I mean, some some people yeah, some people took advantage of I guess of the situation, um, and some people were gonna pay those prices. I know, you know, it's an emotional thing sometimes when people think, oh, you know, I need I need to have something with his signature, um, just to kind of you know have something to remember him by. But you know, you just you have to be patient. You have to try to negotiate if you can. Honestly, when we go to, most most of the time when we go to comic book stores. I pick them up. I kind of give them a rundown of what what I think we should be paying for certain for certain books. That's his that's his strength to negotiate those prices. And his strength is knowledge. So he tells me, "Hey, look, today we walked in there and pretty much name everything that was on the wall, yeah. first appearance, and this and this." 
So um, we work as a tandem, man. At the same time, we're we're collecting, but this is this is something that we've been doing since we were kids. I'm more heavily invested in it again. Um, just think, this year, I think it's the right time. You know, I think we're at the right age. I think we are um, a little bit more knowledgeable about. Where, where we're spending our money, how we're investing this money. Yeah, and we're not kids anymore. I mean, we have jobs now. We can actually afford to buy some of these books because these books are, are pretty pricey. Um, so, you know, you don't want, I mean, you're not going to go into a store and, and, and pay 100 bucks for a book like this. But, you know, if you put some money to the side or if you just plan it right, you can, you can afford most of these books. Now, you don't have to go out and try to get a, a 7.0, 9.0. If it's out of your budget, don't even try it, you know, just... This is a great entry level, and it looks it looks nice for a two point five, and then that that signature just kind of sells it even more. Yeah, My eyes. So, I think for the most part, um, the last thing want to we want to say is um, subscribe, hit that notification, um, leave some comments, let us know if the, if this works. The two of us, I think we'll try to do more of this if we can. We want to actually also kind of bring into the fold. I, I don't mean to step on your toes, but. Um, we want to start bringing in toys into the into the fold. Um, maybe down the line, even even talk about shoes because I'm a big collector of shoes, and I know Chino has a whole bunch of books that he still needs to show off, and I have my own collection I need to show off. Um, that way, you guys can kind of get an idea of what we collect and how we collect, and, and 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 even why we do it to a certain degree. So we'll touch base on that. I'm pretty sure in the future. Yeah, if you've been on shoes, if you've been, I mean, it kind of fall in line. You know, a lot of people yeah. that are collecting, it's just collecting in general. Collecting these comic books, they're collecting something else. Uh, we're starting to see a trend where people that are collecting comic books are also collecting shoes. Um, we're big on tech, so so every now and then uh, we'll, we'll we'll have something on tech. Uh, this guy again, he he's good with tech. I, I'm a big Apple guy. He, he so is he. Yeah. But when it comes to TVs and stuff like that, slowly but surely, we're going to be bringing new content. We want to keep it fresh. Uh, also, um, fitness. Fitness is going to be something that, that I'll do separately. Uh, me and Manny, we, we tend to work out a lot. Uh, we've been working out since we were kids. And a lot yeah. there, there's, a, there's a calling for that as well. Um, and then we'll also just try to, try to link up with other people. I think I'm going to do something with uh, the Legend uh, auction here in the future. Him and... and Strictly Comics, you guys know Edwin, and a lot of the community. So I'm going to be doing new things. We're going to be raffling. We have a yeah. lot of comic books. So we're going to be auctioning some stuff, raffling some stuff. Um, and I'm sure down the line you do some giveaways too. Um, the one thing we, we want to make sure that we want to do is for Jose, to, for Chino to hit 100 subscribers. He's already at, looks like he's at 60. So let's get to 100. From there we'll move on. more. Yeah, we'll move on. And then eventually we want to be able to do some, some giveaways. Um, again, you know, subscribe to the channel, hit the notif notification, um, leave a comment down below. Again, shout out to Reggie, The Great Legend Show, Strictly Comics, uh, Brian B, uh, Jeffrey, uh, Greek, Drinks and Comics. Um, if there's anybody else that we, that we forgot, you know, we'll try to hit you back up, back up on the comment section. Thanks again. You guys have a good day. Anything else? That's it, man. That's all I got for you guys, too. Uh, Happy New Year, guys.